Morning everyone, Tommy from TechNexus and thanks for joining me on today's video. If you've been following me up to this point, you should have uh, already sort of completed your uh, Dynamo script for a portal frame. And as promised, uh, I'm having a look at a uh, script that I made up to do a bridge. So you could sort of think of it as a small pedestrian bridge, but I guess you could scale it up for um, a, a bigger one or you know a roadway or a train or whatever but it's very similar to the portal frame where we have the user inputs so the length the width the number of divisions which I'll get to in a second the rib so the arch so this might be again uh, something of interest to you because what we're going to do is have a look at the curved beams uh, node and then the height of them so Stepping through it, it's again very similar to the portal frame where we have point by coordinates. So they're each of uh, one side of the bridge. I'll just adjust that. And then we've got the, the curved beam itself. So in advanced steel terms, when we look at the different type of beams, so having a bent beam okay so you can see here it says create an event steel bent beam between two points and a point on an arc so this is why we wanted to create this, this sort of the, this, the curve for it so I'm just going to just just playing around with these just so it looks a little bit neater so very similar functionality except like I said down here we start actually playing with um, the curve values, so the rib itself, so the start and end points, uh, any Z values as well. And then we place a bent beam instead of a straight beam. And then when I run this, so down the bottom here in Dynamo, when you click on run, so it does take a few seconds. And like before, you're going to get this issue where it talks about the uh, coordinates. So if you haven't already set it, go up to Settings, Geometry Scaling, Large, Apply Changes. And then next time you come in, it'll be fine. Okay, now if we have a look in Dynamo, this is what the bridge looks like. And if we jump over to the left here on Advanced Steel, this is what the bridge looks like. So you can see here we've got this curved beam as well. And we can, like all the others, we can adjust which way that's drawn as well. So it's completely up to you. So just to show a few changes for that. So let's go, or let's just zoom out here for a second. And the crown height. So that'll be that, that top value. So let's make that 15,000. And then run it. And then come back and you can see it changes here as well. So offset if we make that 5,000 run come here and you can see that it's just sort of changed in here so you can start slowly building up the way you want this beam to look so i'm just going to pull up the view cube and switch to the full left mode so you can see here so if i do that again uh, let's make that uh, 7500 run advanced deal and you can see it stretches this out so similar to the portal frame you could treat this as a template. If you do a lot of these kind, kind of work, then you can just build it up once in advanced deal, and then for future, you obviously um, just reuse this script over and over again. And just show lastly, so this is uh, 150 meters long. So if we make it 250, run, and then there it is. So again, you can adapt it to um, you know, small footbridges, or pedestrian kind of things, or you know, right up to to road and rail, if if that's the kind of thing that you want to do. So, hopefully, it's been of help. Uh, have a look at the um, beam, uh, the the bent beam as well, if you wanted to do this kind of thing. And the code block is exactly the same as it was in uh, the other other demo there. So, have a play with it. 
let me know in the comments below if, if there's any issues or queries about it and I'll endeavor to answer them as soon as I can. And thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get daily notifications of all of my videos. And I'll see you tomorrow for a review of uh, some of the more complex uh, samples and see how they work and see how they run and, and if they can apply to the work you do. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.